Molly Rouch, hey friend, we reviewed the key of C today. Um, and we even reviewed the boring stuff in the key of C. So there's a couple different boring static spaces um, that are worth reviewing. Start at C3 and just play your basic major pentatonic one octave. This is probably the least frequently used octave. And for the next octave, use your ring finger and play. It's a little more exciting when you add the passing to it. That's based around this C. But as you know, usually we launch from this root out here to play our scales in the key of C. It's more comfortable, it's more practical. The other static scale is to put your pinky on C8, and this is the static scale that matters the most. Position number one. I'm leaving out the blue note for now. Over time, that's where your country steel licks come from. In parallel thirds, all the moves in fourths, or the ha fourths hammer ons. Um, and then uh, bending the, the B string and the high E. Um, but then we looked at the, the uh, excuse me, strong position version of that with your middle finger on C. So you start with the same plain Jane octave from before. And then you do this one. And this is the space you use all the time right there, but then you don't usually resolve it that way. You usually do a slide. This is position number two of a static scale. But more critically, is the uh, the middle position number one, and also the active scale that cuts through the middle of it all, and then this little space. That's why I organized this way to focus everybody on the notes that really count in that position, without getting mired in that little that weird, weird little transitional zone. Um, okay, and then that one, of course, can lead you up to the D shape. We used to do this. Wait. Part of your task exercise, and you shift to the D and repeat there. Your triad, I mean the arpeggio, and the scale. That space you know pretty well. Um, okay, then we talked about um, you can't always get what you want, which is also in C, but it's the other version of C, it's the G version. So you can review your G scales. This is the same scale you were just playing, but now you get to play lots of open notes. And I added the blue note for fun. Active scale. Again, this is the same scale. All that stuff will still work when you're improvising. And so you do a two finger G with your middle finger on the G string. Seven. Get what you need. Oh. 